The main reason why I cannot give personalized medical advice on this app or interpret your labs is it's not good medical practice. There are creators on this app who claim to have medical experience and who will sell you laboratory analysis for a few hundred dollars, and that is unethical and irresponsible. But these people don't have medical licenses. I guess they can do whatever they want and buyer beware. It is not responsible to interpret any laboratory data outside the context of what's going on with that specific patient when those blood tests were drawn. This is especially true in hematology, where I often say at least 50% of the time, the abnormalities that show up in the CBC are secondary to another medical problem, not a primary hematologic condition. It's probably more than that, honestly. So I'll try to continue making educational videos that make generalizations about laboratory data for your education. And know that when I read your messages asking for my help, it is difficult for me not to respond, but it's just not the right thing for me to do.